Hello Cancer and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess. This is your fortnightly reading for the second half of July, July the 16th through to the 31st. We've got the Five of Wands reversed has come out for you. Uh, this is a general reading so it may or may not resonate and this time I'm doing extended so if you'd like to if this reading resonates for you and like to delve into it a little bit more then there will be a link in Vimeo link in the description box below sending you over to Vimeo so what can we get for you cancer what can we get and it is a general reading so parts of it may or may not resonate I can't remember if I said that or not and if you enjoy this reading please like subscribe or leave a comment so what can we get for cancer let's get stuck into it shall we Okay, we have the Page of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, the Queen of Wands, the Eight of Swords, the Seven of Wands, the Four of Pentacles, the Moon reversed, and the Eight of Wands reversed. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Emperor reversed. So I'm going to pull one card for message from the universe and we'll get stuck into it cancer oh we've got owl beautiful beautiful alley okay so the situation we have the five of wands crossed by the knight of swords so this feels like a situation that might have got a little bit out of control that you feel the need to try and get away from here. It's like, uh, interestingly, the energy I'm getting from this is that you just can't go there. There's some kind of conflict. Thank you, George. There's some kind of conflict that, or, and where I feel like this is with other people, uh, but it could be internal as well. But it feels like you just can't even connect with that energy of that conflict so you just yeah kind of tuned out from it not present with it it's something that you've just disconnected from there's a disconnect here with this energy <laughs> george is like yeah for sure that's it cancer we have crowning you the page of pentacles so this energy is very much like you know i thought i had something really good here but I've got thought I had something solid that I was working with. I thought that it was an opportunity that was going to go somewhere and there's just an aspect of something about it that you can't either you can't connect with, you can't either can't face or you can't tune in with. But this on top of that it, there's an opportunity in front of you, but it's a sense of either something's blocking you from fully connecting with this and moving forward with this or as a sense of it wasn't exactly what you were expecting or thought it was going to be so there's a reassessment here of what's in front of you of what's being presented to you so yeah it's kind of like taking a second look at something or someone like is that what was initially presented to me so on the surface, you're having could be having second thoughts, could be having doubts, a reassessment. And at the base of the issue, uh, right deep down, what, the energy that's coming up, we've got the Four of Cups, which is again that sense of looking at something and going, I'm not sure if I want to be taking this up. So there's a real hesitancy here. Something is on offer and you're just not sure and I'm not sure if it's a block out of fear or out of conflict because I'm feeling like there's a sense of not wanting to even connect and look at something straight on, not being able to or a person straight on. There's a situation here where it's hard to look at something and I'm not being shown it's so much cloud and confusion around it that it's there's no clarity in this situation, but the only clarity is that you're not sure exactly what it is that's on offer and whether you want to take this up because you don't understand it. So we have as the recent past the Queen of Wands. So this can sometimes be a Leo energy. 
this is the energy that's recently leaving you. And interestingly, I feel like something has come to your attention here with that little black cat looking you straight down the line. Something, this is, this is the shadow part of a situation or someone. I actually don't feel like it's you, Cancer. I feel like something has come to light that a darkness or something that has come to light and you've kind of gone, oh, okay, okay. All right, I th so you're still in control here. You're still in this position of power. You're still the queen of wands, but you're just kind of like, where did that come from? I didn't know that that was there. So something has reared its head that was unexpected and it is, it's caused you to kind of almost go into this energy of not wanting to look at what it is. And that's why it's hard for me to see what it is because we're not looking at it. And this could be something within yourself as well doesn't have to necessarily be someone else but it's just something that has come up that is a big avoidance of looking at it clearly and so we have in the near future we have the the eight of swords which is because you're not wanting to dip your toes in you're not wanting to get involved with this there's this sense of feeling stuck and the Eight of Swords is very much a self-limiting energy. It's this character can has can pull those binds off off herself and can actually, you know, see clearly. Doesn't have to feel stuck. They're not very tightly bound. It's actually very easily you could you could turn and look at this really very clearly, not wanting to look smack bang at something. But the if you avoid it for too long. You, it's just going to make it worse with this aid of swords energy. It, it's something you you need to free yourself of this, whatever it is, and the only way to do is to to take off those blindfolds and take a good look at what this is that is being presented to you. Something has come up. So, and this is you in the situation, the seven of wands. You're like, ah, 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 ah. No, 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 no. I don't want to be doing that. <laughs> no way. I know you just said that's what I should be doing, but this is like I'm going to ward this off for as long and as I can. I don't want this. I don't want it. I don't want this energy. I don't want whatever it is that's on offer here. And so I'm going to put all my energy into this. And again, you're in a, still in a position of power, feeling kind of in control of it, but there's that sense of lacking the not knowing exactly what it is, it's lacking the clarity, but you just know you don't want that either that person, that situation, you don't want to you don't want to know. The energy surrounding you, the four of pentacles energy, is saying there's actually more stability than there's actually is stability around this. There is calmness here. There is the ability to gain perspective. So there is support around you that I feel like there's somebody that could actually really help you with this and go, oh, hey, it might not be quite as bad as you think because we have this four of pentacles energy coming through. But someone's definitely waiting for a response or a reply. They're definitely waiting to know if you're willing to take this up, offer up. And it's almost like that waiting period and you not making a decision or not wanting to look at it is actually adding increased pressure onto a situation here, Cancer. So, yeah, there's a tick-tock goes the clock. Hopes and fears, the moon card reversed. You know, this is the clarity. This is the time. <laughs> this is all about the passage of time and finding clarity out of fear and confusion. And it's almost like you don't even want to, again, with the moon reversed, you don't even want to it to, you don't even want to engage with that whole thing of there's a time, time limit on this or something needs to be done over a certain period of time. It's like not wanting to engage with that. It's very much not even... Yeah, like not wanting the time pressure or the time limit on it, but at the same time, even maybe not wanting it at all. So, yeah, it's 
And as an outcome, we have the Eight of Wands. So there's no communication here with these Eight of Wands. It's very much uh, reversed. Coming in, there's speedy, like in, in the upright position, it's like very direct communication. Reversed, it's like people saying things that might mean something else. There's double meanings. There's hidden meanings. There's an ability for confusion here. Someone's not being very clear about what it is that they want or what they're saying. And so, again, it's still quite confusing here. And so, yeah. And then as an overall energy, we have the emperor reversed, which is feeling like this situation is a bit out of control, feeling like you don't quite have a grasp on what's going on here with this because someone's confusing the hell out of you and you don't understand. It's just like words coming in and out, in and out, but there's all these, do they mean that? So, yeah, not feeling, feeling slightly powerless, feeling out of control, feeling like this is not going anywhere. There's no, you can't see a successful resolution to this with this emperor energy. So there is frustration coming through with this cancer. We will delve more into this in the extended and see what's actually going on with this energy if we can. But we have as the, ener as the energy message from universe the owl card coming through for you, Cancer. And it's interesting that owl actually can see in the darkness. So the message is you can see very clearly what's happening if you wanted to. And you do have the ability to have that clear perspective here. The owl is wise. There is wisdom here. There's stillness, so there's a there's a message about being still within yourself, finding that stillness, because all of this feels very disrupted. It feels very turbulent. This energy here, if you can find a place to tap into that stillness, you will find the clarity. So the message is the clarity is there for you within this. I don't feel that it's something that you're going to get from the other person or the situation or this is something that you can find within yourself overseeing very clearly the darkness, the confusion, the fear that's going on here with this situation. So I hope that makes sense, Cancer. It's probably fairly specific to some of you, but there's definitely a, a period of um, not getting clear communication, uh, miscommunication or confusion there's something that is hard to see there's a lack of clarity and there is for some of you there's this sense of feeling powerless uh, maybe perhaps avoiding an issue taking a second look not wanting what's on offer and but the positive news is with that our card is that it is possible for you to see through all of that to see through what's going on here so if you would like some more clarity, we're going to pull some more cards in the extended and just get some clarifiers for some of these and see what else comes out. And the link will be in the descri description box below. And otherwise, I'll see you next time. And please like, subscribe and leave a comment. Take care, Cancer. Bye.